Hi, Larry Stewart here with 4constructionpros.com. I'm at The Rock, uh, Doosan's, um demonstration and training center in near Tucson, Arizona, with Mike Stark, who's a product specialist for wheel loaders for, for Doosan. Mike, we've seen uh, a, a, an awful lot of uh, um, new wheel loaders coming with hydrostatic transmissions. We've got a, got a great example of it behind us here in the, the 200, uh, Doosan's 200 size machine. Uh, why is the market moving in, in the direction of, of more hydrostatics? What's the benefit there? Well, there's, there's, there's several benefits, but it can all be put down into uh, uh, power management, uh, better, better control of the power of the machine. The hydrostatic pump is connected to the, the motor. So you have control over the RPMs, and the pump only needs so many RPMs to get the full functionality out of, out of the hydro, hydraulics. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get the full pressure and get the full volume and flow, and you don't need the full RPMs of the engine. And then in this case, in our, our hydrostatic, the Doosan Hydrostatic DL200, uh, has two motors. Oh. So now you can, you, in our case, we have a gearbox that has two motors on, and there's a high torque, low speed motor, and there's a high speed, lower torque motor. With our two motors, we can control the power. Mm -hmm. You got the hydrostatic pump, you control which motor you turn on, which one you turn off, which one gets the oil flow, you control how much pressure gets to each motor. So if you're digging into a pile, uh, what do you want? You want the highest torque possible at these wheels. Uh, that'll get you into the pile, because what it is, productivity, you want to fill that bucket as much as possible, so put high torque here, you can get into the pile, then you use your hydraulics to bring it up and mm -hmm. pull it out of the pile, the mm -hmm. material. So with a low torque motor, we control that. You got the power, you don't need any speed. You just need very low speed because you're digging in there. Now you pull up, you pull away from the pile. Now you gotta get in the truck. When you do that, you gotta get in the truck. You wanna get it there uh, with the control, controllability, and you wanna get there as fast as possible. Well, we got the two motors. Now you got the high torque. Now you can disengage that or the combination of the high speed. Now you can back up, get the speed up, get to that truck dump the load, get back, get into the pile, and dig. I see, I see. So you got controllability, a lot better controllability of the power of the management of those two motors. Yeah, and the, the thing that, that I think about when I think about hydrostatic drive is, you know, you've got that swash plate in, the, in that, yep. that hydrostatic drive as a multiplier Correct. for the volume of, of, of oil. hydraulic oil that you're yep. pushing, and, and you don't get that with a mechanical drive. No, that, you, that's you, you've got, you've got to manage point. it with speed, engine speed. Yep, with that, with that swash plate, you control the volume of the oil and the pressure and so forth, and you're exactly right. You control that. Now you control not only the pressure, I mean, the volume that's going to that, those, those motors are controlling the pressure, yeah. so you can really get that, that controllability. Yeah. And along with the hydrostatic, we've got on this machine, I'd like all our, even with the torque converters, we've got um, power modes. And we've got economy, we've got standard, and power. Mm -hmm. And on a standard torque converter, those that power modes control other things, but mainly they control the RP, maximum RPMs of the engine. Yeah. Well. In a torque converter transmission, when you slow down the engine, what also slows down? Your transmission. Now your maximum speed actually slowed down. Uh, so now you cannot get the maximum speed of the engine. So what happens like on a situation where you're actually running at the high, uh, high RPMs and high speed, uh, your productivity could possibly go down. So in an application where you're doing some simple moving of material and so forth, um, in economy, if it's light material, you don't need the hydraulic power. So you can actually, in economy mode, you can still, with a, the, with a hydrostatic, you can still get the maximum speed even if you go in the economy mode. Mm -hmm. So you get the speed up the tires, you don't need the torque um, on that motor, you don't need the torque at the wheels because you're losing light material, but your productivity is going to be the same and you're going to be saving fuel. Yeah, that's an interesting point. Saving fuel is, is and especially on those applications. Yeah, yeah. the, the, the idea that in an, in an economy mode you can get every bit as much speed uh, at, the, at the wheels yep. uh, as you could in a, in a, in a full right. power mode. Just, so just, just productivity is the same, yeah. but you're saving fuel. This is Doosan's first hydrostatic yep. wheel yep. loader, yes. Looking, looking forward, do you, do you uh, see Doosan uh, adding larger machines with hydrostatics? Yeah, the industry seems to be going that way. Or, I mean, mm -hmm. we, we're looking the same way. Yes, I see 
the, that industry growing. Mm -hmm. uh, are you still going to continue to see the torque converters? Uh, yes. I mean, there's the applications. I mean, this is a good application and a mining application where you still need the torque converters with the five-speed transmissions, uh, need the torque and, and your climbing hills and so forth. I mean, there's benefits for, for both. Right, right, and in a, in a, we should say in a, in a in a serious demand where you're where you're really maxing the, the, the operating near the limits of that that loader's capacities of that that torque converter transmission is still a, an advantage. Right, right, yeah. very much so. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can lock up where you uh, we call it a torque lock up. Right. On a torque converter transmission, where you almost it's almost a, it's a hydraulic lock between the transmission and the engine, and that's almost a direct drive of your transmission. So you're going directly from the engine to the wheels. And there's the benefit of that of the torque converter. Yeah, but the, you really need to keep that duty cycle in perspective, yes. right? You know, I mean, right. it, uh, you know, these these mines are working working thousands of hours per yep. year at that that sort of design limit of that loader. That's right. that's where that torque converter really comes in. Whereas in a lot of construction applications, you know, it's right. it, it's it's piecework and yep. and and utility work and you know Correct. changing changing demands where a hydrostat can really do the job pretty effectively. Right.